Well, for today's episode, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm not gonna just go thrifting. I saw a video from FaZe Rug. He did the most expensive items inside the thrift store. He ended up buying it and then like bringing it back home and showing you guys. But basically, I'm just gonna go to expensive thrift stores in my area and show you guys what they're trying to charge for things. You know, whether it's a $20 plain t-shirt or a $100 fake uh, designer, like just whatever the case may be, we're gonna go try to find the most expensive items sitting in South Florida thrift stores. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. I try to post every single day at 8 p.m. I post shopping videos, thrifting videos. I'm trying to move into food and like lifestyle traveling videos as well. So make sure you guys subscribe. Like I said, I am gonna be hitting up some thrift stores, checking out the most expensive things. Now there's thrift stores in my area that are very cheap and there's also ones that are very expensive. Today we're gonna to be hitting up the most expensive ones. So let's go hit it up, let's see what we can find. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and let's get it guys. Well, it's raining. I just got to the first thrift store and I figured there's gonna be like four or five sections that's gonna be the most expensive. Jackets, shoes, and then like jewelry and accessories. So let's see what expensive finds we can find here. I guess we could start looking for the shoe sections. So we found these Jordan 5s. They want $25. Super crease, super beat. But let's see if we can find anything more than $25. $10. How much are these? These don't even have a price tag. $24.99. Let's see how much these LeBrons are. These are $40. Okay, so this is most expensive so far. $40. Let's see if we can find some more expensive sneakers. These are $40 also. Cherries. Size 12. Okay, so I just found these Jordans. But they have Ferrari logo or not the ferrari logo but it, the jordan logo right here and they want 60 dollars for these so this is the most expensive sneaker 59.99 or maybe that's 5.99 i'm not sure can't really tell might be 5.99 oh look at these made in usa 998s 13 dollars these might be a cop for myself size of these seven and a half though kind of small but still that's super cheap 993s for 13 dollars these wheat air force ones these are only $20, size 13. Uh, has a little bit bad condition, like the toe is all like crinkled up and you can tell it got water on it. But if someone's a 13, just for beaters, honestly 20 bucks, you really can't go wrong for that. I don't really see, I think dress shoes might be more expensive, but I'm not exactly sure. $20, $14, let me see if I can find some expensive. These are Cole Hans, only $15. Yeah, we need to find expensive stuff, not cheap stuff. So here, $70, True Religion denim jacket. True Religion, $70, $69.99. Nothing that really says True Religion on it, just looks like a plain denim jacket. And then $60, right behind it is this Wilson leather, like, dress coat. Seems like those are expensive. I figured leather jackets are gonna be always kind of decently priced so we have $40 jacket right here 15 19 30 30 70 okay so there's a big one 70 20 well, that one's a nice one Calvin Klein 20 bucks another $40 one seems like 70 is probably gonna be the most expensive jacket we're gonna find I got hyped when I first saw this because it's love a Playboy, but it's Playboy Pack Sun, $8. It's kind of sick though, I might keep it in the cart, and I didn't even show you guys, look at this Stussy jacket I just came up on. Stussy, with a little S right there, like this Thermalite bubble, so fire. Another sick shirt I just found, I know I'm supposed to be looking for expensive stuff, but I just keep finding dope stuff. Look at this Nike with the stripes, a little embroidered right there. So I'm gonna pick up those three things. Last time I was here, they did have a Burberry shirt and they wanted like $40 for it. Let me see if I can find some expensive uh, button downs. So for all 24, oh, speak of the devil. Here we go, Burberry London, $24.99. Now obviously this isn't the iconic Burberry logo and it doesn't have the Burberry tag, so that means this is a fake one. So for some reason we're not finding like super expensive stuff like this is true religion shorts for $20 seems like it's brand new with the tags or like haven't been used 
I don't know if they're authentic or not, but I'm trying to find expensive stuff, and I swear, like, when we're actually looking for expensive stuff, nothing is expensive. But when we're not looking, everything's expensive. But I'm gonna go to the accessories, and let's go check what that's looking like. All right, let's look at electronics first. Now, these are gonna be older, so 25, 25, 50, 40, 49, Eight dollar oh wow look how sick that is like a little cow fan that is so sick if I had like a desk I would definitely plug that in that is awesome let's see if we can find anything else monitors 24 14 bows how much is this bows $24 nothing crazy now obviously I could find really expensive furniture, but the challenge is like something you can bring in your car, like something you can kind of carry. Furniture is pretty uh, heavy. Now I think in the handbag purse section we could probably find a little bit more expensive things. Like let's see, this Michael Kors, $80, $79 for this Michael Kors. Now usually they have like fake designer and they'll be really expensive too. Uh, let's see if we can try to find some expensive ones. Uh, that's another $80 Michael Kors. $40, $13, this is like a Hermes Birkin, it looks like, like a knockoff basically. Let's see, $20, $4, huge Michael Kors, let's see, this one's uh, 50 I think they have like the really expensive ones behind the counter also, so we're going to check that. Michael Kors snakeskin, 70 Coach, bunch of coach bags, 50, 50. A fake Louis Vuitton for 20. Michael Kors behind that for 50. Look at this animal print one. This one's crazy. One Well, I was really surprised, like like I said, I think it's because I'm making a video trying to find the most expensive things. I haven't really found anything. I think the most expensive thing I just showed you was that Chanel bag. They wanted $175. It was obviously not authentic, um, just super bad fake. I did end up buying those three items in the bag, the Stussy jacket, the Nike stripe, and then the Playboy little like jersey top. Uh, I just figured they were fire and they were pretty, uh, and the price wasn't too bad. Uh, I am gonna head to another thrift store because we gotta find some more expensive things. $175 is a lot, but it's not crazy. I wanna find something for like $300 or $500. You know, something just mind blowing that they're trying to charge that inside the thrift store. So let's head to the next one and let's continue this. Well, walking up to another expensive thrift store. Let's hope we can find something that's like over $200, but let's see. I've told you guys about the Robert Graham. So this Robert Graham's 30 bucks. Let's see, they have a ski jacket for $13, which is actually a really nice ski jacket. Uh, let's see, another Robert Graham for $40. Which you guys know Robert Graham's, they retail for like 100 plus. That's why they're $40 here. Leather jacket, 40 bucks. For some reason, we can't find any more jackets that are over like, actually no, I think at the last one we found one for 70 if I remember correctly. But like between 40 and 70, we haven't really found, look at this, what is this? Like a custom bleached hoodie? This is super thick quality though, so I wonder what brand it is. Cause it's very, very, very heavy, thick quality. No brand though, strange. It's kind of sick though, I'm not gonna lie. This jacket's pretty sick. It's like half corduroy, half leather with like fur inside. They want $70. I've never heard of this brand though. Marvin Richards. I'm gonna look it up to see if it's like authentic fur. I can't see any inside tags or anything saying that it is though, so I'm not sure. Well, I was gonna cop this because it was only $5. Look at there's a bug crawling on it. Oh my God, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. I swear thrift stores sometimes probably have bed bugs and people don't even realize it. It's probably actually very disgusting. Definitely gonna leave that right as it is. Oh, look at this, Levi's Sherpa jacket. Hopefully this doesn't have a bug on it. Oh my God, I can't even get it out. 
Yo, this is mad annoying. Okay. Viva's like Sherpa with camo inside, six bucks. Can't go wrong with that at all. So this is like behind the counter, like their bootleg designer. That fur coat, I think is $299, so $300, which is exactly what we wanted to find. That one below is $200, and then they have a fake Gucci, the pink. I think that's $49.99, or $50. Unless they want, oh no, $500, are you kidding me? I definitely gotta see that. They want that Gucci for $500, dude. That is ridiculous, and it's probably fake too. We gotta ask to see that. Thank you. Gucci, 500 bucks. I don't know why they would rip off the actual tag that said like the style code and everything on it Let's see if there's any inside tags to see if it's authentic or not okay there's some tags to the left I'm not sure if this is authentic or not though but I mean $500 is pretty expensive regardless you can see the stitching on the thing which that stitching probably is bad because look how like crooked that is I don't think Gucci would do that but this is the most expensive thing we found at the thrift store so far, $500 for Gucci, so there we go. Again, there's other stuff too, like that Louis Vuitton scarf's 80. Uh, there's some shoes for like 50, 60, 70, but uh, as far as this, seems like this is the most expensive. Nice little Led Zeppelin shirt, 2004. It's only 99 cents, so I'm gonna buy it. I mean, I'm getting the Sherpa jacket or like that fleece jacket either way, so might as well if I'm gonna be sitting in line, you know, a dollar, not bad. Look at these fake Louboutin heels in the women's section. I have no idea how much they want. There's no price to, oh. No, uh, 29.99, 30 bucks, I guess. Size 41, obviously they're fake. Kind of funny though, like stripper heels. Look how big that thing is, that thing's huge. The bootleg Yeezys, I haven't seen these in a while. I remember when these first came out, they were literally at every thrift store, but now it's like a diamond in the rough. Well, I just got out of that store, ended up getting the Led Zeppelin shirt, and then like the, I don't even know how to describe it, like Sherpa fleece, whatever you want to call it, the Levi's jacket. Um, those will be for sale on my website, link down below. Make sure you guys check it out, emcvlogs.com. Every purchase does help support these daily videos. The more I sell, the more I can go thrifting, the more that I can post videos. So I really appreciate every single one of you guys. But it's kind of crazy that we found that Gucci, well, I don't even know if it was Gucci. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think it was authentic or not, but the fact that they were trying to charge $500 is insane. Even on the video that FaZe Rug did, I think the most expensive thing he found was like a snowboard for $300. So the fact that I found that for $500 and it wasn't like a big, you know, uh, furniture or whatnot, it was like a designer piece per se, is kind of crazy. And the fact that this isn't like a buy, sell, trade store. This is a legit, a thrift store. Like, people donate to go here. You can't bring your clothes to sell or it's not a consignment shop, anything like that. This is a legit thrift store that was trying to charge $500 for a Gucci crew neck. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Something a little bit different, trying to find the most expensive thing in the thrift store. Obviously we did buy a few personal items that like I said, will be for sale, link down below. But I did want to try to see what the most expensive thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. Maybe I'll go and try to find the cheapest thing. You know, maybe there's, obviously there's stuff for a dollar. I just got the t-shirt for a dollar, but I wonder if there's stuff for 50 cents, 10 cents, 25 cents. Let me know what you guys want. I'm always trying to find new content. Just give me your ideas, link down below, what videos you want to see, what content you guys want to see. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.